Talking to a lot of people in the community, probably the number one most important thing I got as far as feedback is everybody wants our noon, noon siren back. So I uh, definitely would like to take that on and see if this commission can get that going. I don't think that's an EPAC goal, personally. That's <laughs> a uh, public works. Uh, I, I just think that's outside of what EPAC. I mean, you can make the recommendation, but I wouldn't make that a goal. Right. Is that something in progress? Well, no, it, um, it's, or, it's or really or? not in progress. We've, oh. We had uh, almost no feedback that anyone missed it. And one of the problems that it, it was elevated when it was on the hose tower, but the hose tower is no longer there. Right. So you just can't put it on the second floor of the fire station because it will blow everyone out of right. that city hall. So we looked at moving it up to the community center, but... Um, well, that's a good point. Yeah. It, it just doesn't work like it used to work at City Hall. So, since we had so little feedback, I mean, I never right. heard anyone say they missed that siren. That uh, <laughs> I think it was pretty much just all right. Go, belongs in the historical society. Uh, that's too bad. I had a lot of feedback. I, I was thinking the um, community center, but if it's not going to happen, it's I, not going to happen. It's it's not on the list of capital expenditures at this time. I was, I was going to be an advocate for that, but if not... But you can advocate for it. <laughs> I will. I will most definitely. Just as I stopped talking about the siren, I was thinking in my mind how if it was used for something other than a lunchtime bell, and it was truly... Uh, because the new ones they make with different tones. You could have a tsunami warning tone, or you could... You could if, you, if, if EPAC wanted to frame it some other purpose besides the noontime lunch bell, um, it might fall into your purview. Okay, I, I, did not, I did not know that. I thought it was a tsunami testing bell. They tested it. It was actually, I did not, the, you know what, people think it is a tsunami bell. You no, know, the original purpose was when it was an all, when there were volunteers, it was to call volunteers to the station for fires. That was the purpose of it. Okay. And then since we don't have volunteers, it just stopped, we don't use it for that anymore. But the newer ones, you can get them, they're digital, and you can program at a computer, different tones. But I think it loses its effectiveness as a warning device when it goes off every, you know, you, usually you test these things once a month, last Friday of the month, or Jeff could probably talk about it, but there's a testing purpose 